Um, and I'm here with Hans, the videographer. And you can see, <laughs> you can see Ramon in the background, who is a food consultant too. And getting lunch. Yeah, getting lunch. <laughs> and we are doing the filming of the kitchen portion of a bug at the teat cicada eating film. Um, that hello David, that will be released in the coming weeks. And right now, Hans is preparing for the scene where we stir some cheese into the grits. And you can see the lighting in the back. Um, and yeah, hope you guys are going well. So we're you'll be here with us, hello Pablo, as we do the filming. We're, I think we'll move it over to that side. Okay. You'll be here with us behind the scenes as we do this one shot. And then you can look forward to seeing it later in the real thing and see like how awesome Hans can take the moment in the scene and transform it into a very artsy, uh, theatrical, very cool like moment for us as the viewer as we see the preparation of the periodical cicadas for consumption. So yes, bug appetit. Um, Oh, thanks, Pablo. Yes, I have. I'm the the. <laughs> Pablo said, "Looking good for your close up, Isa." That's actually happening in today's filming. We're doing. We've already shot the setting of the table. We've already shot shot um, collecting them in the field and some of the natural history of the cicadas. And then next, we ha we've also shot some of the food preparation, like for the appetizer with the salad. And so next on deck, we have. Um, finishing the meals. We already did smoking with cicadas on Tuesday. And then now we have um, some of the desserts that we have to prepare and get shots of. And also, um, uh, what's it called? And then eating it, setting the table and eating it and celebrating that. So hi, everyone. Welcome to the broadcast today. So yeah, you can see some of the um, photography. So of course, it's videography and photography there. You have to think about the photons and how the light is working. So we put curtains against the back wall here. Here you can see this is where I usually do broadcast. There's curtains to control the lighting over there. Um, and then we have this dark um, sheet over here to also, is that for controlling? Mm -hmm. Here, I'll have the videographer come over since he oh. chose. This is Hans, the videographer. Hey, hi and, everyone. Yeah, so what we're, what? Um, the black thing is, so if you, the kitchen here is all, everything is white. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and if you if you uh, have this light set up here, and light bounces around a lot, so if if that would be the white wall, uh, I can it's basically to stop the, the the light coming from this lamp to bounce back uh, okay. from, from that wall because it basically otherwise your light is almost no good because it's, it's you want the light to come sort of from one direction more than than another. Yeah. But with the white kitchen, the light will bounce bounce around and you just raise the overall level but you don't get any directionality in the light. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and also I guess you're blocking the shiny refrigerator. So yeah, yeah, behind there is a shiny that's refrigerator and that's the shiny. same that's the same thing as the yeah. white walls, I guess. I, I cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reflector. Cool. Yeah, so here I'm cooking some grits and we're getting ready. Thanks for the high award and the Emmy Award. Um, David Howden and David Dunn. Maybe we should be use ah yes. <laughs> Blue Velvet says maybe we should use lightning bugs to help light the scene. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, that'd be awesome. Um, so right now I have to go to the refrigerator to get some cheese that we're gonna use for the grits scene where we're mixing in the cheese and and Hans is gonna get a video recording of that cheese getting mixed in. And so you'll be with us for that moment so you can see what it looks like uh, in the film to anticipate it. Because it's really cool how um, the tricks that he does with the camera, the movements of the camera to get transitions really cool looking and also to slow us down to really get into the moment. Um, so, so yeah, we did, we did, we do have a grating scene, which is like really awesome. Like who would think that grating <laughs> cheese is awesome, but Hans <laughs> was very creative with the opening scene shot and also the transition from smoking the cicadas mm -hmm. outside to back in the kitchen with the grating. Yep. Um, so you'll see soon. And actually, if you are a patron, if a supporter, you actually maybe, you probably saw that scene in the clip that I sent. Yes, right. the grating, the, the shot of the, the cheese grating is in there. So this is basically, 
We like that shot a lot, so this is a continuation of, of that one. Yeah, actually, it's, po that it's possible that I said one. Of, I'm not sure if the clip I said then actually has okay. that part. It might. The, the clip I said to Patreon supporters might. I think was the kitchen and then the cicada scene, and then uh, I'll see if I can send you guys some of the kitchen sneak previews as well. So one of the perks you get as a Patreon supporter. <laughs> um, Yes, that's David's saying it right here in the chat. If you sign up for my Patreon, you get to see a really cool preview video. So you can kind of get a sense of what I'm talking about with how Hans is getting really creative um, with uh, and the mastery he has in creating and capturing these scenes to show us um, viewers when we're watching it. So I'm going to get the cheese out from the refrigerator. Very exciting. <laughs> uh, I guess I do have to do more cheese grating. I didn't. Yeah, what we going to do with over grated. We created a lot of cheese yesterday. I guess we ate it. So we, we, used it. <laughs> we, we created a lot of cheese yesterday, but we either ate it or we used it for um, the cake. Like that scene that we already oh, shot. We that we right. Have it, we had you, it shot this, you shot this. You shot this before, and I, I, I messed it up. <laughs> no, it was overexposed. Things like that happen. So, okay. I'm gonna get some cheese. Get board. Um, Let me get the board over there. Okay. Thanks for high five. And then we should probably move this one to this. Yeah, we can go do that now. Okay, I'm gonna cut and grate some cheese. Yay! Who, who would ever think that I would be grating cheese on the bug soap? But here we are. Yeah, as part of the um, meal, we're having a charcuterie board, which the idea behind that is that you have these aged insects alongside some aged cheese and other types of fruits and things like that. So rather complimentary. Um, getting some cheese out here. I wonder how having a cheese grater that's hot from the dishwasher is going to affect grating cheese. We'll see. <laughs> Might be a little melty, but that's okay. Yay, cheese grating. Hi, Leslie. How's it going? Hello, David. How's it going? All right, I'm going to move you guys back a little bit because um, there we go. I'm also happy to share that those moths that I had last week um, the moths that I had last week on the bug scope, some of the eggs have hatched. Very exciting. They are, I'll show you them next week. They're kind of too small to do, to show you right now, but the good news, you can see a little tiny one right there. Um, and then there's a bunch more here eating some apple that I picked from the apple tree outside. This is from the apple sphinx moth. And, um, sometimes it's a little stressful when eggs, when, when little caterpillars first hatch because Oh, there's some like, no, it's very exciting. Lots of things going on, lots of babies in here, like several dozen. Um, at first it can be a little stressful because I'm like, I hope they start, they accept this food I'm offering them. And then once you see the frass falling, aka the insect poop, it's like, yay, they're, they're eating, they are growing, they're developing, the food is working. You can see how I'm setting up. Grate some cheese. That's my setup. Grating cheese is setup. Um, yeah. Has anyone here, has any of you guys ever eaten an insect before? If so, let me know what insect is in the chat. And if you haven't, what insect would you try first if you were offered one? Okay. I'm getting about a third of a cup. Those 
this is more than a third of a cup. So. There for now. And then the next cheese <clears throat> is the cheddar cheese. Oh, oh, it's washing from top and from foot. I see that's way very cool. Yeah. All right, I think that's about a third of a cup. We're trying to capture the swirl of the cheese as it melts and then gets meshed into the grip. So, I think what I'll do, Hans, is like yesterday, the other day when we did this, I mm -hmm. started stirring right away, but maybe I'll drop it, wait a moment for the cheese to get kind of a little hot and gooey, and then stir. Okay, go ahead. Does that sound? How does that sound? Nope, no bugs for you. Not sure what you eat. Dragonfly, maybe? Caterpillar? Actually, I don't know, because I want it to be... I don't want to leave it too long on this side. Okay. I don't know how well this piece will work, but we're going to try it. Mozzarella. Cheddar mozzarella. And what is this one? Pretty mild cheeses, but cheeses I like. Oh no, David, it says, David Howden says, I've eaten grasshoppers. They tasted a bit dry and nutty. Wouldn't rush to eat it again. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I've had grasshoppers once before, and they tasted too spicy for me, so it was really hard for me to get a sense of what flavors were there. They tasted like their seasoning, Capulinus, that I had at a restaurant in Philadelphia. Um, but yeah, I think it's one of those things where we are, it's like a work in progress with, with figuring, at least for us in the USA and Western cultures, to figure out like, how do we like to eat insects? Um, or we just have to learn from people who've been eating them for. Because many people around the world do rely on insects as a regular part of their diet. It's just we're the weirdos here in the USA who don't do it that at all, really. So, gotta get with the program or extend our palate here and not miss out on the opportunity of these new flavors and things. Hi, Lucia. Hi, Lucia. Hi. Hi, Frank. How's it going? You saw the demo clip. Yay! Excellent. Yeah, it's really exciting and really, it's been a really great working with Hans on this project. Initially, we thought, like, oh, like, we're going to, like, collect the cicadas, like, film this and get it out as soon as possible at the beginning of the cicada wave. But then, like, being at the very north, our cicadas emerged way later than the cicadas in more southern regions. Um, so we're definitely not catching the beginning of that wave, but that's okay because we're doing what we can with what we have and it's coming out really awesome so far. So I'm super excited. It's really hard to greet. Mozzarella cheese this way, but I guess this way. So you are right-handed, right? Correct. Uh, right-handed, yeah. So if you, so if you mark, yeah. So what happens if you if you just lift the lid and put in the cheese and then stir? Uh, where are your hands? Are? I'm trying to figure out where your hands are going to be. Like this, this. Since we have three cheeses, I'm gonna do four, four, four. Okay. Then. Enough grit. 
changes also because in in order to make insects like a viable economic route there needs to be automation and we don't automation is in the works right now i think there's there's a lot of people working on seizing this opportunity um but without automation it doesn't can't compete with the automation that's available in the other in industries like the poultry and the red meat uh, industries Okay. How much do you plan ahead on the shoot slash how much do you improvise? Huh? Um, if you don't want to answer for that. <laughs> for that. So we, I try to plan ahead as much as I can, um, but we have a lot of different elements to this one. So we started out cooking, the cooking part at least started out improvising. Um, and then started editing a little bit and see what works and what didn't work. Um, so, uh, and so this part is actually pretty well planned. I mean, I, I just have a, I, I just have an actual list of, of shots that I need to get. Cause yeah. I, they hunt me with yeah. the test <laughs> the different, the different shots you need to get yeah. for the remaining food to shoot. And then, so I, I mean, you, when, when we first came on, I had the, the shoulder um, rig, mm -hmm. so I shot most of the of the uh, cooking with the with that one. Um, but then I changed my mind, looking at how the shot was going to look. Um, I switched over to this one, so that's imp improvisation. I still can get a motion in there. Um, so this, this is quite a nice control way to to move the camera in a kind of a weird weird angle. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a mix. Yeah. Storyboards, question mark? We didn't start off with it that way. Uh, Hans has a, had like a worksheet to go through what the story might look like and the different elements of it. And um, so we did work through that. We didn't adhere to it fully. We made, definitely made changes along the way. But that was very helpful with getting oriented. It's been really cool working to like, because, you know, Hans has ideas and I have ideas and we have to like share ideas and figure out how they work together. And it's, it's a very fun creative process. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but adding some, a little bit more of, I think it's a little thick right now. Right. A little more of this and I think we'll be good to go. It's a shot. No, Issa's right. Making a making a video is uh, it's actually really difficult to to be on the same page. Not because you have different ideas, but to even explain what 
what it is that you are seeing in your mind happening to to articulate that and, and in a way that the other person understands. Um, that's actually very, very hard to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, I feel like it's so easy to, to work with you on some of that stuff. That's great. Well, no, we've been, yeah, but it's also something we've been uh, act actively trying to do. Okay. I think we've both, both been very conscious oh. about. Um, like, both very present and engaged in, well, in it? it? Well, in at least the region, no, in um, trying, trying to understand what the other person is wants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. And the project was kind of whatever we wanted to make of it too. So that's helpful as well. Because you had a lot of flexibility. Yeah, but that, that always makes it hard. Oh yeah, that does make it harder. <laughs> so you have too many choices. <laughs> um should we have a go ahead, I'm ready to do a, to have my a preference is cooking them tempura. Ah that's a good idea. That's Nice and crunchy to kind of match up with the exoskeleton and the idea of insects as being crunchy. All right, so I'm standing here. All right, I'll apply it on the set. We are about to film. Not that it really matters actually because we are not recording audio right now. There's no audio for this anyway, basically, because it's just very soft ingredients going together. Um, can I turn this off or just on for a reason? No, you can turn it off. It's on the monitor. Okay. Okay, so um, sorry to turn my back to you guys a little bit. Actually, yeah, actually, I got uh, it. Just in here. Oh, what happened? You don't plug, you don't oh, plug okay. yourself. Okay, I'll plug it into the outlet up on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <sighs> um, yeah. And this it is actually kind of a tricky shot because. Um, we have the camera motion, and the camera motion needs to line up a little bit, at least with the Isas curry and the cheese. Mm -hmm. And if we if we if we mismatch it, you know, we're gonna have to cook another batch. Of... <laughs> I th I feel like if <laughs> I think if we miss yeah technically no technically we have to do that. Although if yeah. you just add more cheese, only you guys will know. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I don't think it'll change uh, like dramatically enough. I think, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, ready to go? I am. Okay. So this is just gonna go like sit. Let me just add a little bit more. Or are you going to, um, you, you said first you wanted to wait till the cheese melts a little bit, but I think it's it best to just, it just go on go on to the motion shot. Okay, sounds good. Just at regular speed, you don't have to be super quick or super slow about it. Am I going to, is my arm going to get in the way? A little bit. Oh, I'll just hold my hand down. Yeah, yeah, you need to okay. make sure you're on your side. Lots of choreographing and stay on my side. <laughs> lots of choreographing involved. Like that. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll start with this out of the pot. Yeah. Okay. Maybe move that to the other side of the pot too. Though. So yeah, so I don't feel like you can rinse out. All right. All right. You guys dump in this cheese, okay? If it was three, I don't have enough hands. It's only. Okay. Do you want this to get better? That's in the same here. So a little bit more. So we start out you know, with the lid. Yeah, actually we have a lot of it. Yeah, that's fine there. No, that's that's okay. Okay. So your hand is in, in it. So we're kind of on that line as we're getting closer to the camera. Okay. And then dump, 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 and then this. Yep. Okay. Um Ready? Ready. All right, go. Oh. Great. 
I'm gonna have a look. I think it, I think we did okay. I hope it went okay. <laughs> <laughs> not all the cheese. The cheese did not cooperate. We are fired, cheese. Just kidding. <laughs> the cheese did not want to be cooked. I'll add it in now. Well, if we had to do it again, do you think maybe it's better if I just pick it up and drop it in from the bowl? Mm -hmm. I like, can't arms and drop it in. Yeah, but then it's probably kind of heavy. Yeah. It's going to be way shorter. Because I just got it. From here, it starts to get nice. Oh, uh, yeah. I think from there. this point, it starts. I think we'll probably start there. And then, okay. Or maybe even. Comes in. Okay. 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 Reviewing the shot. Slow move. Mm -mm. That melty cheese. So we got more cheese in there, right? Oh, Frank would like to know who's tweeting in the background. Yeah, there's a lot of birds in the area. I think some robins, maybe. I think it's a robin, American robin. And action, thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, Frank said earlier, anyway, I noticed some shots that were obviously thought out by a visual mind. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the instant replay. What are you thinking, Hans? I'm thinking it's because um, we're shooting this in slow motion and it's like mm -hmm. it's almost too slow. Well, yeah, but yeah. we can always speed it up. So I'm, I'm thinking now I'm looking at the different. I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking like at what point are we going to cut to the, the next part? Oh. To the shot. Oh, cut into it. Yeah, and I think actually more towards the end. So I want to, I would like to do another one with okay. the, just the stirring. Okay. So I like the motion. I'm going to be faster. So we're going to have to cheese it in there. Mm -hmm. And then we will start at the moment that you stir it in. And I can move the camera a little faster. Okay. So slowly you almost don't see the motion. Okay, cool. I think I might end the class now. So if you can focus in here. Because um, today is our last, we have, we have a, today is our last day for filming all of this, ideally. Because yeah. Hans is going on camping next week. Um, but Thanks guys for joining us to see the behind the scenes and stay tuned uh, for the release in the next couple of weeks. All right. Cheers. Take care.